This morning in our Consumer Confidential, we've got some good news if you're in the market for a new car. First time in a while, experts are saying gears are shifting towards a buyer's market. So here with what we need to know is our consumer, our senior consumer investigative correspondent, Vicki Wynn. Vicki, good to see good you morning. We're with good news. A, yes, so, car buying yes. is back, baby. I mean, I remember like during the pandemic, you, you couldn't buy a car, you couldn't no. find a car, but what's changed? So supply chain issues have normalized, mm -hmm. chip shortages were good, and that United Auto Workers strike, all of that is in the rear view. So inventory is way up, Al, okay? So car makers usually like to have about 60 days of inventory. Mm -hmm. A lot of them have up to 100 days wow. of inventory right now. So we've got higher inventory. Right. We've got double the number of incentives, according to KBB and Edmonds. And also, we're seeing $1,000 discounts on cars that we haven't seen in three years, mm -hmm. Al. So we've consulted with the experts at Cox Automotive and Kelly Blue Book, and they're telling us that these falling prices really mean more discounts for consumers. Mm -hmm. The one challenge, though, the, the rates on interest for uh, a new car loan still sitting at about 7.1%. Mm. So it's very pricey. Remember back in the day, you could get a car for like 0%, 2.9%. Exactly. Those days are gone. Okay. Mm. So if you are looking to buy a brand new car, what are some of the things you need to know? All right. You need to know it is still expensive, Dylan. The average price of a new car right now, $47,000, oh, wow. even though prices have been steadily falling for the last 16 months. Mm -hmm. The average car payment sitting at $735. That is pricey. Mm -hmm. The good news, if you are in the market for an electric vehicle, discounts of up to 13% on the pricing because more car makers are getting in. There's more competition now. Mm -hmm. The most inventory, according to Cox Automotive, this is really interesting. So if you're looking for an Infiniti, a Genesis, or a Ram, you could be in the driver's seat. More wiggle room with okay. negotiations. Mm -hmm. If you are looking for a Toyota, a Lexus, or a Honda, less. They have less inventory on hand. Spring okay. is car buying season. It's warmer mm -hmm. weather. People are getting those tax refunds. They oh, want to yeah. get back out on the car lot. The key now, you can be patient as a buyer. You're in control. Mm -hmm. Shop around. I always tell people, shop 25, 50 miles out of your range, of the, your geographical area. You could save thousands of dollars really? just by driving an extra hour to another dealership to compare prices. Okay. And also, obviously, if you can pay cash, pay cash. But if you, the bigger the down payment that you can make, mm -hmm. the more you'll save in the long run. So okay. the key, though, with the shopping around, very important. Now the Internet makes it so easy. That's you can true. reach out can to compare. all dealers and say, what's your best out-the-door price? Great. So, Vic, that's new cars. What about used cars? If you're looking to buy a used automobile, is the market just as sweet? Yes and no, Craig. So prices on used cars are down 3% from this time last year, which is great. They're still hovering around $25,000. The average monthly payment would work out to $546. But this is where you'll see a big difference. Ooh. New car loans, 7.1% interest rate. A new a used car, 11.7% wow. interest there. because it's a used car, a little bit more issues with it, okay. potentially a different class of buyer, so the rates are higher. Limited supply, too, because fewer people were trading in their cars. But the good news is if you're looking for a used car that's $35,000 or more, you will have more selection, more bargaining power. It's really the used cars that are under $15,000. Those are still going like hotcakes. Always go to Auto Check or Carfax to get the report. That'll tell you how well the car was maintained and whether or not it's been in any major crashes. And then, of course, check for recalls. You want to have that car certified and inspected by a mechanic and also take it for a test drive. You never want to buy a used car without driving it first. Vic, let's talk about leasing for a moment. Yes. When, when might leasing be the best option for someone? So a refresher on leasing for folks, it is basically your renting. You can put down a lower down payment. You're going to pay a lower monthly payment than you would on a new car. The average is right around $606. Usually the term is three years, but when you're done... You don't have that car. Right. You don't own that car. There's no equity for you. The pros, you are always going to have the latest car with sure. the latest updates, the best technology, and typically because you return it to the dealer, they're going to give you free maintenance. They want to make sure you take good care right. of that leased vehicle. The cons, long term, it costs you more money to have that new car. There's often mileage limits, and if you go over those miles, you're paying 15 to 25 yeah. cents per, per mile, mile yeah. when you return that car. And then, of course, when it comes to early termination, if you try to end that lease for any reason, you will face a hefty fine. So you're going to buy if you want to keep this car long term, if you drive a lot, and also if you want that car to be customized to have all the features that you want, because leased cars tend to not have as much, has as many options, you know, that you can yeah. customize. If you're leasing, this is best for people who want a car short term. They want new cars all of the time. They know they're going to keep their mileage low and that they need a lower monthly payment to get into that new vehicle. Okay, great stuff there. Thank you, Vic. You're welcome. Thank you so much. 
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.